I'm Don Carr, and I'm here with Stan Cody, who is in product development at Fender, and we have the Bubbler Chorus from Fender. Man, really great sounding chorus, Dan. Thank awesome. you, Don. Thanks. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, tell me about it a little bit. Sure. Yeah. So it's a true analog chorus, analog circuit, so it uses what's called a bucket brigade delay inside. Mm -hmm. um, has a little noise reduction compander around it to kind of help keep the noise down a little bit. Um, it's unique maybe in the chorus pedal world in that it has two different sets of rate and depth controls, and there's a speed switch. And what's fun about it is that rather than just toggle from one set to the mm -hmm. other set, this actually can ramp between the two. So oh, it does nice. some uh, analog math, like with like an old analog computer kind of thing <laughs> inside, where it'll actually interpolate from one value to the next. So as you're flipping speeds, it kind of speeds up and slows down, and not unlike a Leslie speaker or something yeah, you do. Yeah. So there's that. It has a sine and triangle switch. So you can, you know, sometimes the sine wave can sound a little more uh, vibrato-y, and the yeah. triangle can be a little smoother. Right, right. So, and then a level control for the amount of chorus, and uh, it's mono and stereo out. Um, this also has the fun dynamic sensitivity feature that we've been working on oh, recently. Oh, yeah, yeah. So That's this can super great. speed up and slow down depending on how you play. Right, So right. bypass switch, fast slow switch. Man, simple, straightforward, but boy, it does a lot and yeah. really, really sounds good. One of the first things I noticed is that uh, just the clarity, the sonic clarity all the way across, you know, EQ wise, there's no mid range buildup. Mm -hmm. There's no, mm -hmm. you know, there's no low end cut. You don't really feel any level difference when you engage it. I mean, just, you kind of feel dimension, which is great. Yeah. Just like the, the widening thing mm -hmm. that happens and yeah. it kind of gets more inspirational to play. And yeah, we, yeah, we worked yeah. hard to keep the audio path pretty clean and to mm -hmm. keep the frequency response pretty flat. And especially on the delayed, the bucket brigade part of it. Sure. So that when you add it in, it's not like you get a big mid hump or something. Right. Right. Or a level boost because you know if you double the signal which is kind of what you're doing and to some extent if you do that you can crush the tone stack on your amp a little more and maybe gets a sound you don't exactly want you yeah know, so yeah, yeah this exactly is a lot right. more controllable man it's super yeah. nice very cool i'm playing an uh, american professional telly through the uh, 64 deluxe reverb amps custom hand-wired super nice sound and so here's what it sounds like with bubbler bypassed <laughs> Cool, and that is the sine wave. Yeah, right. Okay, yep. cool. Yeah, let's hear the uh, let's hear the triangle. Yeah, and so I'm going to switch over to the faster se okay. setting. Yeah. Oh wow, nice! You can really hear it on the decay. Yeah, and what you hear is. On the sign setting, it stays more at the ends of the sweep. It, it hangs out mm -hmm. there longer before yeah. it drops back versus the triangle is very smooth. Yeah. So the sign can be a little more wobbly or out of tune sounding. Mm -hmm. And the triangle is more like just like a gentle spreading of the pitch a yeah. little bit. Wow, so. man, really sounds great. So Don, this pedal also has the dynamic sensitivity feature that uh, the other modulation pedals from yeah. the season have. So um, if you want to play a chord, I'll turn the knob. And what this does is it will change the speed of the pedal depending on how hard Don plays. When he digs in a little more, he can get it to speed up kind of automatically. Okay, so I'll play like a consistent level and we'll see where the break point is really, yep. right? Sounds good. <laughs> So you could see there is a zone where when the knob's off, nothing you can do will trigger right, it. Right. Uh, when it's all the way up, everything you do will trigger it. Right. But somewhere in the middle, there's a zone where it responds to what your picking is doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's exactly like the spot where it's like, oh, here's the tipping point. Yeah. So you can set that kind of however you want it. One of the interesting things would be to set it to where you can just really dig in and get the fast speed. But for most of the time, it's the slower speed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like it because it's more, again, in that kind of Leslie thing, there's like an emotional mm -hmm. swell that happens yeah. when it speeds up. And yeah. it's fun to be able to do that when you're away from your pedal board. Yeah, it's right, right. Not have to, you know, go. yeah, just, just yeah. dig in and there it is. Yeah. Cool. So there it is, uh, Bubbler Chorus from Fender. Wow, nice, Stan. Very Thank nice. You. Well done, sir. Thanks for, uh, thanks for everything. Thank you. <laughs> It's been and fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you have any questions about this or any other Fender product, make sure to contact your Sweetwater sales engineer or check us out online at sweetwater.com. 
And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks. Mm -hmm.